this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and I'm doing a little series on how to edit your GoPro videos in Premiere Pro. And one of the things that you might need to do when you're editing in Premiere Pro is to do some color correction. Now Premiere Pro is a more advanced video editing software, so color correction can get very complicated very, very quickly. So I'm going to try to keep things as simple as possible for you. We're only talking about the basics here. And it should be helpful to you, particularly if you shoot with ProTune set to on, and then you don't have GoPro's auto color stuff happening for you. So let's check it out. All right, so I have Premiere Pro open here for you, and I'm going to adjust the color a little bit on this GoPro video that I shot with ProTune set to on, which means that the GoPro is not going to automatically um, enhance the colors in my video. It's going to come out with this kind of flat-ish image. There are colors there, of course, but if we want to bump them up a little bit and really make them pop, then we're going to have to use some kind of color correction here. So um, in the effects panel, what I like to do is use fast color corrector. There are lots of different ways to actually correct color and adjust color in Premiere Pro. Um, but for me personally, I like to keep things simple. And usually the videos that I'm shooting are just, you know, they're fun. They, they're, you know, the kids in the pool, for example. So I don't need to spend a lot of time trying to make things just perfect. It's not for the movie theater or for the television or anything like that. It's really just for my own personal use here. So um, I like to keep things as simple as possible and I use the fast color corrector. So all I have to do is find that in the effects panel and then drag it down. So over here on the effects controls pane here, what we're going to do first is we're going to find that color wheel here under fast color corrector. We're going to hit this eyedropper tool because we need to find um, something white in our image and that's going to adjust the white balance of the whole entire image of, of this particular clip. So I know, for example, that the lattice over here is supposed to be white. The ladder is supposed to be white. The trim on that house is supposed to be white, but yeah, there's not much to click on over there. So I'm going to choose the lattice. And what's going to happen then is that you're kind of essentially setting the tone for colors based on what we know is supposed to be white. So just to make sure that our whites aren't actually gray, which is going to make our blues off and our yellows off and our greens off. We want our white to be white and not gray or black or washed out or something. So that's why we find a white object um, or some kind of neutral, as neutral as you can get it, object in your clip or on your footage. And you're basically telling Premiere Pro to make that thing white. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, you notice that the colors here are pretty flat. So we can see that there's color, but they just don't really pop. So the next thing I like to do is come down here to saturation, which is set right at 100. And I'm gonna bump that up. And I'm just basically eyeballing it here. I don't know what number we should try to be at here, but I'm just looking at this bathing suit strap is supposed to be pink and the colors in this bathing suit are supposed to be colorful. This is like a light blue kind of thing over here. Um, this noodle over here is supposed to be pink. So I'm just going to eyeball it until it looks, I don't know, pretty good. You don't want to go too far, but... I think this is a good spot here. And then if I hit play, it looks pretty good to me. So that's all I'm going to do here. Um, you can play with all these other levels over here, like the input level. So I don't know if, if everything was pretty bright and washed out here, I might want to bring my input level um, down a little bit, but I don't think that's necessary here. And I think I'm good to go with what we have here. Don't be afraid to play around with things. If you want to do some crazy effects with the color, you can. 
Um, I'm going to try to get mine back to where it belongs here. What you have to do with the color correction and your footage is going to depend a lot on your actual footage. So, and it's going to depend on how you want that footage to look. If you want it to look completely realistic and authentic, then, um, you might want to make some subtle corrections or if you want your colors to pop um, a little more than they normally would, then you can make them pop just by bumping up your saturation there. So I use fast color corrector. Maybe in a future um, tutorial, I'll cover some of the other ways that you can do some color correction. Um, but this is how I do it for now. So I hope this was helpful for you. Just keep in mind, you may not even need to really adjust the colors in your GoPro videos. It kind of depends on what you're shooting and what you want your end result to look like. But don't be afraid to play around with it. At the same time, don't be afraid to not even worry about it. And if you wanna make sure that you don't miss any of my Premiere Pro tutorials, then hop onto my email list over at vidpromom.com slash premiere, and that way I can shoot you an email anytime I have a brand new video editing tutorial, GoPro tutorial, or Premiere Pro tutorial. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, bye.